day four or five of ownership of the new century and uh, something has happened yes unfortunately I've uh, backed up into a pole over here scratched the bumper and damaged the side right over here no structural damage just a light little scrape on a pole or against the pole rather this car is 25 years old the owner put around 36 37,000 kilometers I own this for five days and I do this to it so uh, yeah I always forget how long this car is the rear overhang is much longer than that of the s-class and I'm not really used to a uh, right hand drive but yup ah you just gotta live with the mistakes baby but it is what it is we're currently convoying with mr. Ken Sato's McGon and his LC who were headed to a undisclosed location that was a cold startup in the LC this car did around I think 1500 kilometers from Tokyo to Nagoya around the city and back in one piece the car is performing flawlessly we do need new tires they're quite old one of the issues that we're having with this car is that when you press on the accelerator pedal it does like a slow creep and it increases by like one kilometer a second and when you try coasting the car it just keeps accelerating but at a very very slow pace but it's not a big issue if you're able to brake uh, on time or at least ride the brakes while you're driving so we're gonna have to get that looked at as well there was a small leak on the car while we were in Nagoya as well you got the radio going pick up the phone Alex oh, oh, oh. hello Konnichiwa. <laughs> and put it back down wait oh, 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 oh it turns off the radio when you pick up the phone the line is disconnected it does not work but that's pretty sick we did not know that another quirk of the Toyota Century apparently it works for both phones there's one in the back and one in the front, baby. That's what we're talking about. And Ken's Lexus LC looks very nice. Very nice. Wow. What a setup. This reminds me of Scramman's car elevator but on steroids, goodness gracious. Oh yes, I'm actually wearing shoes for one. So as I'm editing today's video, I got a pretty interesting call from my friend and unfortunately, one of my cars just got hit. He was in my Model 3 Tesla and he was on Sunset Boulevard going straight and there's a car parked to the side of them on the right hand side and the guy pulled out in front of him, side swiped the rear passenger rear of my Tesla in his Porsche Carrera 4S. Here's a few photos of the damage from the guy's Porsche and here's a few photos of the damage on my Tesla. Thankfully, nobody was hurt in the accident, just some minor scuffs. Now, the interesting thing about that is my Tesla has been hit twice in the past 45 days. Now, if someone was hurt, you should definitely check out today's video sponsor, Morgan & Morgan. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm with over 800 lawyers and over 100 offices nationwide. This means they have the resources to fight for the best results and they have the capability to spend millions on a case to see it through. Injury cases can span multiple case types. They have separate specialists in car accidents, slip and falls, workplace injuries, medical malpractice, nursing home abuse, effective products, and dangerous drugs. Morgan & Morgan's fee is absolutely free unless they win. There's no upfront costs, no sign-up fees, none of that nonsense. If they don't win your case, you pay absolutely nothing. All the meetings, the calls, text, resources, paperwork, time, and effort put into your case is completely free of charge unless they win it. They have over 4,000 support staff working 24-7. If you have a case question or concern, their staff is dedicated to making your experience as painless as possible. Morgan & Morgan has recovered over $13 billion for their clients. They fight hard to get full and fair compensation. The insurance company have an entire army to go against you to give the least amount possible. Morgan & Morgan fights to get their clients the best results. There's no upfront cost. You pay absolutely nothing. The fee is free unless they win. Getting started is extremely easy. Go to ForThePeople.com slash spot is going to pop up right over here or dial pound law or pound five to nine on your cell phone if you're injured so support the channel hook yourselves up check out morgan and morgan america's largest injury law firm now back to the video uh opinion on the 2000 gt roadster it's toyota -y. <laughs> <laughs> oh and there you go 
It looks like the car's going to sleep. Exposing the secrets of Alex Penfold. Secret, secret. We're gonna follow him. We're gonna shadow Alex Penfold today and see what angles he likes to take. Check his second. We're photographing and filming an extremely rare Toyota GT2000 Roadster, but I've been pulled aside to look at a giant spider. I don't wanna get close to it. Ooh, that's a big one. Hold on. That's a big spider. In the movie, you only live twice. You have Aki driving the car, and you have Bond as the passenger in the seat over here. But this is not the actual Bond car. This is just the press circuit car that made its rounds back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And now it's making its round again on the show circuits at Pebble Beach, Quail, so on and so forth. So pretty sick. A real treat seeing a one of two Toyota 2000 GT Roadster in the wild, in a dirt lot with some of the best photographers, Daniel Craig, latest Bond said this is his favorite Bond car, the Toyota 2000 GT. There she is, back in the elevator. We need to do a full walk around of this entire warehouse at some point after we do a little photo shoots with three or four cars. The sun is setting around 4.30, so we have another hour, but this is insane. What a setup, boys and girls. This is mm, very nice. And one of my favorite cars is sat right here. An orange Mercy Lago LP670 SV. That's right, boys. And of course, the Century is looking very, very good. Minus the little boo-boo on the other side. But we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Two and a half years ago, when I had my first Century, I too backed up into another pole in the exact same spot. So, yeah, I guess I haven't learned. There she is, the RBX GT2 race car engine in the 400R. Every other part is replicatable from the Nismo factory, but the engine itself is not. This is the only discerning factor from a fake 400R versus a real one, a race car engine inside of this chassis. 7,000 kilometers, one of one in midnight gray pearl. Very interesting color. Looks amazing. Goodness gracious. Let's take a look at the inside over here. Whoa. Look at all that plastic, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Just in case you forgot, this is a 400R. You got the badge right here on the wing, on the side over here. Let's open up the driver's side on the right hand drive. Very nice. The dash says 400R as well. Right over there. And on the steering wheel. Very cool. Mr. Koji over here, who has just purchased a brand new Honda Beat in an amazing color, yellow. How many kilometers does this have? As little as for 6,500. 6,500, 6,500 kilometers on the odometer. Basically, it's in pristine condition, but many thanks to Koji over here. And Mr. Ken Sato over there for setting this all up. Make sure to check out his YouTube channel. I'll link it right over here and on the description box below. He's the one who's been helping out with the Century paperwork and buying and selling a lot of the cars I've had in Japan. So I really appreciate you for bringing us here. But make sure to check him out. If you have any questions on buying or selling, import, export, any sort of cars, this is the man. Whoa. Oh, this is sick. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's a little cozy in here. First drive in the Honda B, baby. Chasing a 400R. Uh, both cars are out of gas, so we're gonna go to the gas station real quick. We should pick one up with the channel. It's like a little go-kart on wheels. Awesome. And the 400R is right over there. There's something to be said about the uh, petrol stations. We'll use the correct terminology in Japan. The petrol stations here are so clean. Look at the look at the pavement here. There's no gum, no trash, no no nothing. No stickers or graffiti. Very very well lit and very very clean. And the prices are quite agreeable. Nice. That's how That's much it? the full tank. 29 liters or 18 liters. 18 liters. 
29.34 yen. That's so cheap. Some may say the best part of Japan isn't the cars, but it's the food and the convenience stores. We're currently here at the 7-Eleven. Look at the wide selection of fresh produce, to-go meals, pastries, just everything and anything under the sun. Snacks, frozen foods, ice cream. I mean, goodness gracious. If the 7-Elevens in America looked anywhere close to this, even just half, 50% of what it looks like in Japan, or had the stock, my goodness, that would be a game changer. But here we are. Let's find some snacks. Let's see what we got. Any photo shoot supercar at the local 7-Eleven this time it's a one and a half million dollar Nissan 400R oh that's a sick shot right up there Mr. Ken Saito going up baby this is a real treat we have Mr. Ken Saito over here our guide and savior in Japan showing us all the coolest collections and all the car shows around Japan now we're currently here in an undisclosed location the owner is very generous and has allowed us to film all the cars here. So this section here, right, Kent, is all of his own personal cars. Yep. Got it. So we're going to go one by one, and he can explain to me exactly what we got under the cover here. So we got the RX-7. RZ. RZ. It's car. Yes, sir. Um, it's basically the Spirit R before the Spirit R. Oh. And this one has less than 100K. It's like 96, 97 oh. kilometers. Yeah. Brand Ooh, new car. Brand new. On BBSs. It's, uh, very nice. This one? Yes. Hi. This is factory color, like the Lamborghini Cheetah. Wait, is that like an off-white? It's like, a, like um, it's like mocha. A, it's like oh. a coffee color. This is from factory? Yeah, like the Lamborghini Cheetah. I don't think I've ever seen a color like this in my I, entire life. It might be the only one? It could be a one of one. Yeah. That is pristine. And it does is the interior white as well, or is it matching it's the exterior? Like, yeah, matchy-matchy. Oh, it's a bit creamy. Very nice. Yeah. Cream white. Very cool. Got some race cars over here. My, my, my. Oh. Oh. Mm. It's the shell yeah. of a 7, I, th I believe this is 7670. 767. Seven. Okay. Yeah. He's trying to like recreate. Rebu yeah, rebuild it. Rebuild yeah. it. Oh, okay, yeah. so we got the shell over here. Excellent. There's a lot of like shells of cars and race cars here. GD40. It's made of real GD40 parts. Right. But it's not real GD40. It's, it's one like, of those it's using things. Spare parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did he put? Did he make that himself, or was bought I think as, bought is? as is? Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. 2000 GT. 2000 GT, another one. 500 E. 500 E. That's right up my alley. This one is uh, for you Americans. Ooh. It's an S209. Yeah. U.S. Uh, limited only model. Oh, okay, okay. So he imported one. He, he imported one from, from America, America into Japan. Into Japan, yeah, because we never got these. Oh, I see, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, what do we have over this is here? A Lola. Lola. Oh, oh. One so much down here. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Very cool. One ninety E DTM. One ninety E DTM. It's a race car. That's pretty sick. Nice. This what? one here. 924 Carrera GTR. 924 Carrera GTR. I believe um, there's only like 16 or something in the world. 16 in the world, and we have a white one here. Yeah, Just sat here. Look at the wheels. Yeah. This is some uh, proper Max Show Stack this is, stuff this is right here. A Max Show Stack car show car. Indeed, it is. Wow. That's sick. Jaguar E Type. Ah. It. Very nice. And that's a 962. Porsche 962 taken apart here. 1997 Toyota Century without the exhaust. Stay tuned for that. What else do we have over here? Porsche, uh, Ferrari 332. Ferrari. Corvette C8, yeah, you excellent. Got it. You got it. And now this section over here, these are customer cars. Customer cars, people like friends cars that he keeps in storage. Gotcha. Now this is the one that we've been eyeballing for a little bit. We, if orange Mercy Lago LP670-4 SV, baby. Oh, yeah. That is mm, delicious. Wow. This is almost an $800,000 car in America. Upwards of almost a million for some of those crazy people who are trying to spike up the market. But, damn, that looks good. Looks like a Ferrari 288 GTO. Right. It is in the Ferrari 288 GTO. Okay. I believe it's based on a Ferrari 308. Oh, okay, okay. Um, 
the owner of the store which made this car at the request of his friend slash customer who couldn't drive manual. Oh, so, I so, see. So they put a 2 and 8 body on it. Yep. Um, I can't see the engine, but the engine is from a Ferrari 355. Okay. Mated to the F1 gearbox, so it's paddle oh, shift. Oh, I see. Paddle shift. Oh, I can sort of see it. Nice. That is interesting. Never seen that before. No, I've never seen this before. Oh. Uh, a car you would have seen before is this one. Ah, yes. This is our friend Mercio Lago LP640 with a questionable wing and some interesting bits from Japan, but overall a very good car. Very nice spec. Beautiful calipers. Hold on a minute. What? The lip's gone. Hey, where did it go? Mark IV Supra. Turbo model. Turbo model. The TRD kit. TRD kit and the front splitter you were telling us Yes, it's the earlier. factory option. Factory option front Retractable. splitter. Retractable. Oh, very nice. Uh, this one is a very, very low mileage R33 V spec. Ooh. With the period correct impulse wheels. Dang, that's black. It's Ooh. black. I don't have to do anything. I just like follow you yeah. around. So this one, <laughs> 190 Evo. Ah, yes. To look. So, um, because he made he's a he owns a manufacturing company. Hi. So he makes these kits for the 190 to make oh, it look like an Evo. Oh, I see. Too. I see. Yeah. Are these kits for sale? Not yet. Uh, link my uh, Instagram below and message Ooh, me. Oh, if you want a, a, a 190 Evo kit, message Ken Saito or slide so into Evo his one, DMs. Evo 2. Yeah. Evo 2. Is this a kit as well or yeah, is it a real yeah, car? This is a kit as well. Ah, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Very good. Oh. 22B. 22B. Very cool. This is what? Dang. $300,000 car in America now. So. What is under the cover over here? And this is probably Crown mm -hmm. Jewel. Oh. This Mosette tune. Nismo Zetune. Wow. And of course, we didn't even film this car. It's the Acura NSXR in white. Perfect, perfect spec. Perfect car. Looks amazing. And of course, we got the 2000 GT Roadster covered up again. Man, that is one nice looking car. There you guys have it. Crazy, crazy collection of cars here. Many thanks to Mr. Ken Seidel and Koji for hooking it up. Now, have you guys ever watched the Crusaders of the Lost Ark? The final scene in the warehouse where they have crates stacked up to the ceiling. I'll throw a clip of it right over here. That's exactly the kind of vibes I'm getting around over here. <laughs> Just wild stuff, man. Crazy, crazy stuff. So anyways, we're going to move some of the cars around, get a few more photos. That being said, let's roll it. Oh, uh, the rally from Tokyo to Yokohama in 2014. Yeah, but that's, it's still a big parrot. That's much, much more impressive. Yeah, but like, what is this thing? Let's take a look in the back here. Hold on. You know nothing about this car. Oh, there's nothing in the back. All right, in the back of the century here. Check this out. Oh, crap. There goes the bat. The triple crown, baby. With a copy of the VHS Aladdin that does not work. That being said, we got Mega Sally right over here. Because... This sucker over here is called the Sally Speaker. So I won this sucker at a claw machine. Now we're gonna open up this and we got another phone right over here. Boom, all the controls and of course, the Walkman with the Century logo and the headphones. So this thing is fully, fully loaded to the gills. Super cool stuff. But for the time being, we're gonna have to leave this car here for some registration and paperwork. That being said, Sally and Mega Sally and Triple Crown, it was nice knowing you. One final treat for the boys, guys. They're moving the 962 Porsche into the elevator downstairs for a few photos, so, yes. Damn, this is pretty sick. Don't fall down. Oh. If there is ever a time to get a cool shot of the 962, this is it, boys and girls. Oh, smokes. It's completely dark outside. The sun is down. We've got all the boys taking photos and video of the 962 rolling out.
got the vending machine right over there. Lights on. Nice trees. Makes for an amazing photo. Look at that. Six. You guys have it. Nine six two. Going up, going down.